Now we want to calibrate our yield monitor. Whether you have a GS2, an original monitor, or you have no mapping system at all, your yield calibration is going to be done through the command center on the armrest. Again, we're going to, as we have with other calibrations, we're going to go in to the diagnostic button and we're going to go to page two. We're going to turn our dial and we're going to select yield. Okay, perform yield calibration anytime you're ready to um, calibrate a different crop if your moisture changes, you know, more than four or five points. So I highlight my enter button, I hit my check mark. Okay, it says if you mainly want to update your calibration factor, uh, you can do that here, or if you want to go and have run the calibration automatically, you'll hit the one through four button. Make sure the green tank is empty and make sure your truck is empty before you start the calibration process. Okay? Now what we need to do is we need to go harvest some crop. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to go harvest, hopefully about a semi-load is a, is a preferable amount. And as you harvest, this amount, this weight right here will be counting up. It'll count, it'll count, it'll count. And when you get done, uh, and you've harvested all that weight, you're going to go to the next step. Now it's going to give me an error because we haven't harvested anything, but when you're harvesting, you'll have a weight in there. When you hit the next step, it says not enough grain harvested. Once you harvest the, the amount of grain that you're going to send to the elevator for weight, um, it, will, it will go back and then you'll send the truck to town, have it weighed, and then when you come back, when you go into this step, you'll go down to this button right here and you'll highlight it. You'll check that, you'll hit the check mark when you get this highlighted. It'll show the amount of grain that you harvested. And then it will also show a spot for you to put in the weight of the machine or the grain that you sent in on the truck. You'll enter that weight, you'll hit the enter button, and then it will change the calibration factor automatically. And that's how we do a yield calibration. Now we want to go through how to put a moisture correction in there. Let's say you've been harvesting and you notice that most of the time your moisture is running somewhere in the 16% range, but each time you send the truck to town and, and have it checked, um, it's at 17%. So the combine is actually a point low in that situation, so we need to add a point to whatever the combine is showing for moisture. The way we do that, we go into our combine button, and we go to page four. So we press this button until we get to page four. Now right here is our moisture correction. So like I said, the combine's been showing about 16%. The elevator says it's 17%. So I want to turn my dial down until I get moisture correction highlighted. Once I get it highlighted, I'm going to hit the check mark and I'm going to add one point. And then I'm going to hit the check mark again to save it. Now let's say conversely, the combine was showing 17% and the elevator said 16%, so I need to put a negative. So I'll, I'll highlight my moisture correction again with my dial, I'll hit the check mark, and I'll turn, if it's at zero, then I'll turn it backwards, I'll turn it counterclockwise until I get a negative one in there, I hit my check mark, and I've successfully set my moisture correction. Well, first thing we want to do uh, when we do a header calibration, we have to do the feeder house speed calibration first. Now, all of our calibrations are going to be found in the book and wrench button. So we're going to press this button, and this will be our active alarm page. We're going to go to page two out of four, and this is our calibrations page. So what I want to do is I'll take and I'll grab my dial, and I'll turn and I'll hit the check button, and I'll highlight this, and I'll go and I'll find feeder house speed. So I hit the check mark to select it, and notice I have to have the combine on level ground and I have to have the engine running at high idle. So I'm going to go to fast idle, I'm going to come down to my enter button, which is here, then I'm going to hit the check mark, and it will lead me through the calibration process. So it says lower the feeder house to the ground, so I'm going to lower the header all the way to the ground until the header is all the weight is off of the header. All right, then I take my dial, I turn to, to the next step button, I hit the check mark. Now it says press and hold the header raise switch. So I'm just gonna press and hold.
Now it's switched to the, to the header lower switch. Press and continue holding the header lower switch. And what the combine is basically doing is learning the weight of the header and how, how much oil it has to allow and how fast to make the header go up and down. So now it says the calibration is complete. The next thing I want to do is I want to get my green highlighted on my enter button and I hit my check mark. And that's how we calibrate the feeder house speed. After you've done the feeder house speed calibration, then you'll want to calibrate your header. And you'll need to do this for each header, but you only have to do it for each header one time. As long as you don't change to a different platform or different cornet. So the way we get there is we go to our diagnostic button, we go to page two, and now we're going to go down here and we're going to select header. Once we get the header selected, it says make sure the combine's on level ground and make sure the engine's running at a high idle. Then I want to go to my enter button with my green highlight using my dial. I hit the check mark and it says lower the feeder house to the ground. So I'm going to lower it all the way down. I want to make sure all the weight is off of the platform at that time. Once I do that, I'll turn my dial over, I'll hit the next step, and I hit my check mark. Now it says press and hold the header raise switch. So I'm going to press and hold the header raise. It says calibration complete. I want to make sure and move with the dial, move my green arrow over here, hit the check mark, and I've successfully calibrated my header.